Yeah, so for this question, we're requested to find the equation of, um, or, 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 I mean, the, the quadratic equation. We're requested to find the quadratic equation given its roots in terms of alpha and beta. So even for this question, the same things will still apply. We will first have to find the value of alpha plus beta, and then also find the value of alpha times beta. So the first thing that I'm going to show you, okay, there are two methods you can use to solve this equation. If you want, you can use the direct method, which will take you to the answer, or there is a way you can also just, just get the final answer and then replace the, the what is the roots. Okay, so let us, uh, let, let me show you the first method. So imagine that you have, um, imagine that you have, okay, imagine that you have this and that as your solution after solving a quadratic equation. So I'm going to show you two methods. Or let me say, before I show you the first method, let me show you how they derived the, 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 the method that I'm supposed to show you. Okay, so the, imagine that you have two roots. You have alpha and beta as your roots. So let's say after solving a quadratic equation, the first answer that you find is x is equal to alpha. And then there's the other answer that you find is x is equal to beta. So if you have these as your two solutions, um, let us try to find the quadratic equation that was um, used to find these solutions. Remember what, what, when you have a quadratic equation, okay, let me just solve a simple quadratic equation here. Let's say you have x squared plus, uh, plus 4x plus four. If this is a quadratic equation that you've found or that you've been given, let us factorize this. So we, when factorizing this, the factors are simply just two and two. So meaning we're going to have two x plus two x, then plus four is equal to zero. And then from there, we're going to have x as common. Then we say x plus two. Then we also have um, uh, plus two as common, we have x plus two then. Then from there, we say this is equal to zero. Then we have x plus two and x plus two there. We say this is equal to zero. From there, we equate all the two factors to zero. We say x plus two is equal to zero. Then another one, x plus two is equal to zero. So from there, we say x is equal to negative two. And then the other one also give us x is equal to negative two. So after doing this, you get these two solutions. So I'm going to start from this part now, going up to the quadratic equation. Now in terms of alpha and beta. So the first step that I'm going to take is from here to this part. So how did, this, how did they move from this part to this part? So I'm just going to do the reverse way. So I'm going to take the alpha and the beta back to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to say X minus alpha is equal to zero. And then also x minus beta is equal to zero. And then from there, I'm going to this, um, from there, I'm going to this step there, meaning I'm going to put them in brackets and then equate everything to zero. I'm going to have x minus alpha and x minus beta, or rather x minus beta uh, is equal to zero. From there, I'm going to move to this uh, part there. So how did it move to this part? It means that they multiplied everything in these brackets to, into the other bracket. So X times everything this side. So I'm going to say X times X there, I'm going to get X squared. X times negative beta, I'm going to get negative uh, beta X. Then we we'll also have negative alpha times X there. We're going to get negative um, alpha X. Then negative alpha times negative beta will get positive alpha beta, which is equal to zero. From there, I'm going to go to this step, which I have uh, in this expression there. So from this step, I'll go to the quadratic equation. 
So the quadratic equation will therefore be, um, the quadratic equation will therefore be x squared. Then from there, I'm going to have minus, then I'll factorize, I'll factorize x between, because x is common there. So I'm going to say, since x is common, I'm going to factorize it. Then I'll remain in brackets with alpha plus beta. And then on this other part, I'll still have alpha times beta, which is equal to zero. So this is how, uh, rather this is, uh, I can say the standard or, so here you can either have a minus or a plus depending on the type of roots that you have there. They have a minus or a plus, yeah. So this is the standard equation for the quadratic, uh, for, for the quadratic equation that we are yet to find. So the same thing that I've done here is exactly what I'm going to do, but using alpha plus three and alpha plus, uh, I mean, and beta plus three. So this is one of the methods that we're going to use. You understand when we begin to do one of these questions. Yeah, or let me use another way which will make you understand better. Okay, then this one is just okay. So let's um, let's now begin. So the first root that we have is x is equal to alpha plus three. Then the other root that we have is x is equal to uh, beta plus three. So I'm going to take this to the other side of the equal sign, meaning I'll have x minus alpha plus three in brackets is, is equal to zero. Then I'm also going to have x minus beta plus three in brackets. And we say it's equal to zero. So we can now combine this and that. So we're going to say x minus alpha plus uh, three in brackets is equal to zero. Oh, we're combining rather. So we're not supposed to put the equal sign here. Then we also open another set of brackets. We write x minus uh, beta plus three. Then we say this is equal to zero. So when we multiply these now, we're going to have x times x there. This will be x squared. Then x times this part there, this is three, not beta. So x times uh, this part there, will get um, negative x outside. Then inside, we're going to have beta plus uh, three. Yeah, so this is what we're going to have. Then we also multiply this part times x there. So this will be negative x as well. And then inside we're going to have alpha plus three. Then this, this part times that part, this will give us, um, we're just going to say plus uh, this times that, which is just going to be alpha plus three times beta plus three then we equate everything to zero. So in other words, if you want, you can just have the standard equation written there, minus x alpha plus beta, then plus alpha beta is equal to zero. So what you can just tell yourself is that, okay, on this part, I'm just going to be putting the sum, the sum of what I've been given. So when you add this and that, the answer that you get, you write it there, then when you add, and then when you multiply this and that, the answer that you get, you write it there. Then afterwards you come and replace the values of alpha times beta and alpha plus beta. So it's just the same as what I'm doing. So this can be factorized. We can say X squared. Then we say negative X outside. Then if we put this outside, it means that what we have inside there will be added. So we're going to have beta plus three, then we also add it to alpha plus, um, so it's supposed to be three, not beta. I don't know why I'm writing beta instead of three. So this is what we're going to have. 
And then I'm sure you can see what I, what, what I meant by this expression to say, here you put the sum of your given roots, then there you put the product of your given roots. So in this case, um, the roots that have been given are this one and that one. So when you add these two, you write them there. Then when you multiply them, you put them there. So this is what is happening. The addition of the two roots that have been given is happening there because we're factored out negative x. And then this side, you have the multiplication of what we've been given. Yeah, I'm sure now it's making sense. So what I showed you here, if you're, use, if you're using the formula direct, you can, um, you can call it a shortcut in short, but the method that I'm showing you right now is the procedure that you can follow. Okay, so when you multiply this alpha times beta, you're getting alpha, alpha beta, then alpha times three, you're getting uh, plus three alpha, then three times beta plus three beta, then three times three, you're getting nine is equal to zero. So you're going to have a simplified version of this expression as um, when you add, you can put alpha and beta together, meaning you have alpha plus beta, then three plus three, you're getting six. And then you say plus, and then your expression here, you can also simplify it further. You can say alpha times beta there, then you say plus, this one can be factorized. You can factorize three, and then you remain with alpha plus beta in brackets. Then you have plus nine. So from there, what you do now is, one is alpha plus beta. From this equation, remember alpha plus beta is equal to negative B over A. So negative b in this expression would be negative times negative four our b is negative four then over a my a is one so because the coefficient of x squared is one that's why i put a one so negative times negative four will get positive four so while there is alpha plus beta we're going to put four so say x squared minus x then open brackets while there's alpha plus beta there i'm putting four then plus six then we say plus, while there is alpha times beta, remember from this same expression, alpha times beta is given by C over A. So alpha times beta, the value of C is two, then the value of A is one. So two divided by one, the answer is two. So alpha times beta is simply just equal to two. So while there is alpha times beta there, I'm just going to put two and then while there is, uh, I'm saying this two plus, then we have three, where there's alpha plus beta, we found four there. So I'm going to put four, then plus nine. Then we say this is equal to zero. So we can simplify that to find the solution. So let's do the simplification so that we find the final solution. So, um, for this one, so the first part there we have, we have x squared, and then we have negative x there. Then here we have four plus six, which gives us 10. And then uh, two plus these three times uh, four will give us 12. So two plus 12, the answer is 14. And then 14 plus nine, we'll get, we'll get something like, 23, 14 plus nine, yeah, we'll get something like 23. So we say plus 23 is equal to zero. So the, the quadratic equation will therefore be equal to uh, negative 10 X there, X squared minus 10 X, then plus 23 is equal to zero. So this is the quadratic equation which they wanted us to find. So do we have any questions on this question? So it has sounded to have a long procedure. It seems to have a long procedure, but when you just take time to understand it, it's, it's, it's a very simple question actually. Okay. So I'm erasing this one so that we look at the second one. All right, sir.
but um, uh, maybe I don't know the time you send the the video so that at least I can just go through it again and go over it. Yeah, immediately after this, I'm going to upload and send to the group. Okay. All right, sir. So, or maybe what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll just show you how to solve the second one. I'll not solve it. I want you to solve it and then submit the solutions to me. I check through if what you are going to do is going to be correct. Because if I solve everything, I, I, if I solve everything, you will not have that room to understand. So for this one, remember the general expression was, so I'm, I'm just going to use a general expression in this case, because you know where it's coming from. I wanted to show you where it's coming from so that you shouldn't just be guessing things. So the general expression is x squared minus x open brackets. Then the roots that you've been given, you add them. So if the roots are alpha and beta, you add alpha plus beta. And then you say plus multipl multiplication of the roots that you've been given. So this is equal to zero. So you have x squared minus, then you have x times your alpha, your, your first root that you've been given is alpha plus three. So you can say alpha plus three there. Then you say plus, the second root is alpha plus three alpha. So you say alpha plus three alpha, or rather, rather it's supposed to be beta plus three alpha. That's the second root. Then you close the brackets like that. So from there, the other thing you can do here is you multiply the roots that have been given, or even this one is supposed to be three beta, three beta rather. So you, you multiply the roots that have been given, which is alpha plus three beta times uh, beta plus three alpha. Then you say this is equal to zero. So from here, you can just simplify this part. You also simplify that part. And then you plug in the values of alpha times beta, which is negative B over A, then also alpha plus beta, which is C over A. So once you just do this, you plug the solutions in that equation, then find the answers. All right, so let's quickly move on to the next question. <clears throat> 